What is going on YouTube? I am Jerm here. Today we have some really big news out of the LCS we're going to be talking about. That is Huni on the move from Dignitas. He was their top laner. He signed this huge, massive, two-year, like $2.2, $2.3 million contract. He was making over a million dollars a year. And just after one split with Team Dignitas, he is headed to Evil Geniuses. And this is really big news. Evil Geniuses was a very, very good team last split. Um, people had a lot of question marks about Kumo, uh, how good he was going to be with Evil Geniuses. And then even once we saw him play, how good he was. He had some good games. He had some terrible, very bad games as well, where you think, man, maybe if they had another top laner, maybe if they had Huni, they would be able to work out. Um, but yeah, a lot of interesting stuff going on with this move of Huni from Evil Genius or from Dignitas to Evil Geniuses could potentially be a massive, massive move. Again, uh, he signed this $2.3 million two-year deal, and now uh, he's actually renegotiated his contract with Evil Geniuses. He's going to be making a lot less. He's coming off a split where he had some highs, but he also had some lows. People definitely don't believe he's worth that much money anymore at this point uh he still could be he's only 22 years old he has a lot of potential he could still prove himself but uh he has some motivation issues he still has so many of the same issues that he's had for years and years and years that doesn't mean he can't get better that doesn't mean he can't get back to those skt world finals huni highlight moments um but we haven't been seeing those in north america we definitely expect more of him so they are going to be paying him a lot less um so i do think this move makes a lot of sense for evil geniuses However, they already have Jazuke and their academy mid laner is also an import. Uh, so that means for Huni to play in this next split, uh, they would have to replace Bang with uh, Deathly, who is our academy AD carry, who he has had some fine moments. Yes, yes, he seems to be a competent AD carry, but not world class by any means and not top tier in North America like Bang has shown to be at points in his career. Um, however, Bang has tweeted out sometimes and there have been some rumors and stuff that bang is homesick wants to go home doesn't like na for whatever reason obviously the coronavirus stuff complicates things even more um i, I the split starts in a couple of weeks so i don't think at this point bang is going to be leaving i think it'd be pretty crazy if he was leaving at this point i think he would already you know have signed with the korean team or already had his plans decided so i do think bang will be staying on for this split but going forward into the future i think they definitely could be looking at other 80 carries um, so that would leave Huni in the academy, which I think is really, really interesting. Um, and obviously, Huni is a good enough player to not be in academy. But just with, with the team he's on in the situation, um, he might be stuck in academy for a split, which would be insane because he's going to be obviously the best player in academy, or he at least should be. And if he doesn't dominate academy, then that's going to raise even more question marks. But what is really interesting is that <clears throat> if Huni plays at least 50% of the games, whether in academy or in LCS, he is become going to become a resident for next year. He is. He was grandfathered, uh, not grandfathered in, but the rule was changed to where uh, international players can't become residents in North America anymore. But Huni was part of the old uh, way, the old rules where if he uh, plays eight out of 12 splits in North America, he becomes a resident. So he just needs one more split because he's played seven uh, splits in the last 12 in North America. So if he plays his next split in North America with Evil Geniuses, plays at least 50% of the games in either Academy or LCS, he's going to become a resident. And that means he would be able to fit in with this team, even if they hang on to Bang and Jizuke for next year. So this is a really forward looking move by Evil Geniuses, but I think it's going to be so interesting to see what happens this year. Is Huni going to end up in Academy? Is Bang going to leave? Are they going to try out Deathly? Are they going to get a new mid laner, new AD carry? And like, is Kumo just going to be the top laner of the future? Is Huni going to start next year? What are they going to do with these guys? Um, are they you know, is, is Huni going to be used to push Kumo to even higher heights? Is Kumo just going to play one more split and then get sold off for Huni to play next year? Like, there's, it's just really, really interesting. It's a lot of stuff that doesn't necessarily make sense right now, but luckily we're going to be getting the answers very, very soon. Uh, for Team Dignitas, obviously they signed Viper recently, but they also have Lorlo on the roster, so they're going to be competing for the top lane spot that is left behind by Huni. Uh, that's two North American top laners. Makes a lot of sense for Team Dignitas. They're going to be spending a lot less money, and they're going to maybe even be getting comparable top laners. I know uh, Lorlo has had very low lows, but he could be a capable top laner in the LCS and uh, Viper as well, but their team has so many question marks right now. They don't need to be spending over a million dollars on Huni uh, just to finish like whatever they finish sixth place in the LCS or seventh or whatever. I'm not really sure even exactly where they finish, um, but a lot of interesting stuff going on here. I'm glad that in a couple weeks we're going to be getting a ton of answers. I find it hard to believe that Huni's going to be in Academy. That just seems insane, obviously, to even say, but it seems like that might be what is about to happen. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Just letting you know and giving my thoughts and opinions on Huni going from Dignitas to Evil Geniuses. Some of the biggest news in the LCS right now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, leave a comment down below. What do you think about Huni going to Evil Geniuses? I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I think it'd be awesome to get that conversation going in the comments down below. Subscribe, stay updated on my latest content. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next video. But until then.
Peace.